Yes, I believe in God and that He is the creator of the universe. I do believe in God and yes, I do believe He is the creator of the universe. Yes, I do believe in God and that He's the creator of the universe. I do believe He's the creator of the universe. No, I don't believe in God. I just believe it's a made-up story to teach people right from wrong. I don't know necessarily if I believe in God, but maybe there might be like some other force out there. I believe in God and the Bible and everything I follow goes through the Bible. Yes, I strongly believe that God is the creator of the universe because without him, none of us would be here at the moment. Aristotle once wrote, all human beings by nature desire to know. And St. Thomas Aquinas speculated that a human being's desire is naturally inclined to thinking and understanding. God created each and every person with the ability to reason and ask questions. It is intrinsic in human nature to wonder about the meaning of life, the reasons why humans were created, and whether or not we are alone in the universe. Our place in the universe. That's what we'll be talking about today. Hi everyone, I'm Matt. And I'm Kristen. And, and this, this is, is Real Faith, Faith TV. TV. Many of the teens on the street express their beliefs in God as the creator of the universe. We'll talk with them more a little later in the show, as well as meet our studio guests. But first, let's meet our spotlight guest, Brother Guy Consolmagno, a Jesuit astronomer and planetary scientist for the Vatican Observatory. He is also the curator of the Vatican's extensive meteorite collection and author of the new book, The Heavens Proclaim. Let's meet him now as he discusses the reasons for his belief in God. And whether or not he has ever had doubts along his faith journey. Ultimately, my belief in God doesn't come from my science. My belief in God was there before I was ever a scientist. And my relationship to God is a relationship of someone who I relate to, who loves me, and who I love in return. And this is a God who I encounter in human beings as well as in my science. It's a God who I encounter in my family and my friends as well as in the beauty of a sunset or the beauty of the equations that describe the sunset. And you can't forget that personal God, which is what makes Christianity more than just a sort of a, a dry deism. Was there ever a time when I doubted the existence of God? About once a day. You always are filled with doubts. That's why we need faith. That's why faith is not just automatic, but it needs to be nurtured, which is why you need to pray, because you need to remember all the times when God has come through for you all the times when you've been able to dish off the ball to him and he's taken the last shot. Our doubts are an essential part of our faith. If you didn't doubt, then you wouldn't have faith. Doubt is not the opposite of faith. Certainty is the opposite of faith. It's not original to me. It's a, it's a crazy theologian who said this, uh, Anne Lamott, who I disagree with in many things she says, but I love that line. And it means that we have faith precisely because we're not certain. And it also means if you're absolutely certain, you really don't have faith. I really like how he was saying you have to remember faith at the end of the day and all God has done for you. Because I think that really reminds us what our place in the universe is when we remember God at the end of the day. So uh, let's see what our studio guests have to say about this topic. Okay, they are Charlotte, Dan, Patrick, Jackie, Nick, Phil, and Mary. So do you guys like to, you know, ask the big questions in life, like who are we and where did we come from? Who doesn't? It's human nature, like he was saying. Like you have to have faith in what you're taught, but you're unless you question that faith, it's not really faith. Yeah, I agree. I've spent most of my life contemplating why am I here, what am I doing, what's my purpose? And I think everyone reaches that point where after a certain after like living long enough, they start realizing, what, where am I going? Like, what is this po my purpose? And I think when you know you spend a lot of your life questioning and wondering what your purpose is, you know, once you find it, you're just going to be so much more like motivated to take that and really make a lot out of it. Yeah, I think it's human nature to try to figure out like, why am I here? What's your purpose? You know, we're not the only ones that ask these big questions. In fact, every culture, every religion, every nation, and every era has struggled with the big questions and has used stories and sacred texts to describe the nature of reality. So is what you believe in your faith and what you know as science ever in conflict with one another? That's what we pose to the teens on the street. Let's check it out. Do you ever feel in conflict with your, with your religious belief in God and what science claims? Um, well, sometimes, yeah, I guess. Because you have so many people doubting it, you start believing it. No, because science, it proves it with facts. 
or a lot of it with facts. Like, we share 99% of our DNA with, like, apes. So, I mean, like, if you're not going to believe in evolution. Sometimes I do feel conflicts, but I just, like, talk to my pastor and stuff. At times I do, but you got to go back to the Bible and see what, what your beliefs are really. I, I always have faith. Sometimes I do get mixed up between the two, but, like, just the events that happen in this earth, like, for instance, Hurricane Katrina, and just all the weird things that go on, I get mixed between whether it's evolution or if it's God. Oh, uh, not really, because there's a lot of conflict between the two, and I never had a conflict between uh, believing in God and uh, science. Do you believe there is some common ground? Uh, I think there's both somewhat in common. Um, both God plays a part and uh, science plays a part, but God plays a bigger part, I think, in it overall. There's common ground, but for the major issues, it's conflict. Like, who created the universe and how? And faith and science are always clashing. I don't believe there's any common ground between faith and science. I actually, I don't believe that anything was deals with science. I think it's, I think it's all God's doing. One side says this is how things are, and another side comes out and corrects that. Mm -hmm. And the two of them just conflict, and it's something that's always going to happen, too. You know, there's always going to be conflict between science and church. You believe in science, and that's, that's what you believe in. If you believe in faith, and that's what you believe. I don't feel there's any common go common ground between the two. We just see black and white and not the gray part. It's kind of difficult. I think faith and science is all related. You just have to go on with what we know. Like God. God is first in our life. You know, I think a lot of the parts that I struggle with is also the parts that reaffirm my faith in God. Like I might say, you know, okay, if we came from apes, where did those apes come from? You know, mm -hmm. we all had to have come from somewhere. You can't have a book without an author. So nothing comes from nothing. Yeah. So what about you guys? What conflicts have you experienced when it comes to faith and science? I have a problem with uh, evolution because like the Bible says that the whole six days of creation and everything. But then when you look at science, like it's such a drastic difference because like with the Big Bang and six days of creation, I uh, just have a fa like a hard time like understanding how like the Bible could say it's in six days, but like the Big Bang how it takes place in one instance. Yeah, I mean, like, I have trouble understanding the whole connection between, like, evolution and the way God created it. Because, you know, we say we evolved from apes, but where's the point in time when we got souls? You know, and that's something that only God could give to us. So I feel like there's a lot of twists and turns, and sometimes we don't always find an answer, like, straight up. Yeah, I believe that faith and science go hand in hand. Like, basically, science is explaining the wonders of God in an easier and more understandable way, per se. They complement each other in almost every way, where they're both, they're not, they're not complete opposites, and they never will be, just because they're both searching for the same thing. If they're trying to find the same thing, then they can't be opposite. I've heard people say that the truth is what the Bible states and what God tells us, and that scientists are just looking for the beginning of the truth. The church professes that inexplicable miracles, like the resurrection of Jesus, really did happen. And science teaches that everything that happens must have a provable explanation. But the conflict between faith and reason is often oversimplified. The church is not irrational, and many scientists are actually religious. Next, our spotlight guest, Brother Guy, shares with us how, for him, faith and science go hand in hand. Let's hear what he 